All right, Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Doug in Exile talking about the Fannie Willis case. Uh, and it's going to be happening tomorrow, actually, on Thursday, uh, Fannie Willis. So, you know what I mean? We'll be back, Sketch Pad. You know what it is. All right, yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. Hit the thumbs up button. You know what it is. Look, you want to donate? Link's on the screen, man. Cash app. Thank y'all for all your donations. If you're not a subscriber, because we look at all the analytics and we see that a lot of y'all watch our content, but y'all not subscribers. Hey, we wish or we hope that we can uh, earn your subscription today. If not, just keep watching. And also, too, man, if you want to, Share this content. Go ahead. But let's react to Doug and Exile talking about Fannie Willis and what's going on. And then we'll give our final thoughts on what happened. So we're going to watch the video and we're going to keep it going. Let's go. Slow ball is moving forward on disqualifying Fannie Willis. And today gets one step closer. This girl can't catch a break. And that's a good thing because she should be more careful who she dates. Or I should say Nathan Wade should be more careful who he dates when he's married welcome to doug in exile this is where all the happy patriots are as we pursue fanny willis because she went after trump this girl gotta go has to be disqualified the whole case has to be dismissed because she crookedly tried to take your tax dollars for personal payoff that she then squandered on her and her boyfriend first let's read this headline newsweek Trump co-defendant sends judge a new argument to disqualify Fannie Willis. This is brand new. Okay, we've we've hinted at some of this stuff, but now the case is actually starting to get some meat on the bones. Here's another. All right, so so for all y'all don't know, this is the Georgia case against Trump. Uh, Fannie Willis, she's the district attorney. Nathan Wade is the special counsel that she hired and two other special counselors she hired to go after Trump for the election interference. This is the election interference case. This is the only case that Trump cannot pardon himself from. So if she gets disqualified, doesn't mean that the case goes away because they haven't went to trial yet. This is just the oral arguments to get it to go to trial. Not this case here. The one he's talking about now is flipped on her. Now she has to go in front of a judge. And the judge <clears throat> is asking her about her relationship with one of her prosecutors. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And the money that she was using, was it fun? What is, was it money she was funding through uh, Nathan Way? So basically she hired this guy. And she paid him all this money, but mm. they were, they had a relationship with each other. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. They had a relationship with each other in a relationship. Mm. Um, they're basically saying that she was stealing taxpayers money because she was paying him all this money. And then they was taking extravagant trips. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, also by the way too, this guy is the guy who created Earthworm Jim. What, Remember the cartoon Earthworm or the video game? I believe the video oh. game and the cartoon. Well, he created Earthworm Jim. So whether it was the video game and it became the cartoon. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. So this that's is what's him. up. So he, he, he then converted from cartoons to politics? He probably was. He probably been into politics. I don't know. But we're going to keep it going, man. So let's go. What else you guess it? headline from MSNBC News, attacks on Willis raised debate on how best to preserve the Georgia case against Trump. MSNBC News is going, how do we hang on to this thing? 
We can't preserve it. We can't get them. It's falling apart. The New York Times says, why the case against Fannie Willis feels familiar to black women. Now, I'm not going to touch this one. I'm going to let the black women in my audience come out and tell, and interpret this for me because this is ridiculous. Okay, so let me, let, me, let me say something about that before we go any further. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, this is what I remember when I was talking to you yesterday about how to use black women as shields, right? This is what they do. Whenever, listen, y'all got to pay attention to this. Whenever someone calls out somebody by name, especially race, throw the whole article away. Because they, they're they going to automatically be disingenuous and they just bias. This feels familiar about black women. What are you saying? This woman, this woman did some crooked shit. How is it that you trying to make it seem like they're wrong for going after her for doing some crooked shit? I don't understand that. If she was a totally innocent person and and nothing happened, then I'd be like, okay, cool. But you can't throw dirt on somebody and you got dirt on you too. It just doesn't work that way. But the New York Times and all these 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 uh Democrat prop propagandists, activists, they want to shield these people knowing that they're wrong. But it's gonna get to a point where they can't do it. And right now, this is at that point. So let's go. That that didn't even occur to me that the first thing that happened when this case comes up is a uh, black women are going, oh yeah, this sounds so familiar to us. Okay. I just want you to get a look at, this is Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade's defense lawyer. Look at this face. Okay. Miss Merchant, what haven't you gotten that was on exhibit A and why is it relevant? If you've been in a car accident, don't call an attorney. Use this AI app instead. That's what relevant. How's she feeling today? And then here's Mike Roman's lawyer just dismantling Fannie Willis's testimony for when she lied in church. We do not have a current contract for Anna Cross or John Floyd. Um, and the issue with that is that Ms. Willis made statements that she paid them the same amount of money. The contracts we have for Mr. Floyd, that is an incorrect statement. Lord, you're flawed, hard-headed, and imperfect child. I'm a little confused. I appointed three special counsel, as is my right to do. Paid them all the same hourly rate. Paid them all the same hourly rate. Paid them all the same hourly rate. They only attacked one. Um, they were, he was not paid the same amount of money. Whoops, she said that they were all paid the same. They were not paid the same, which shows, demands the question, why was Nathan Wade paid more? Let's get back to that Newsweek article. A co-defendant of Donald Trump's election interference case in Georgia presented more evidence to support the argument that Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis and her boyfriend, Nathan Wade, should be disqualified from prosecuting Trump and 18 co-defendants. What is that evidence, please? On Tuesday, David Schaefer. And then here's a quick picture of David Schaefer just so you can see what he looks like. He looks innocent to me. David Schaefer, a former chairman of the state Republican Party, who has been charged with racketeering in connection with his effort to help Trump overturn the 2020 election, submitted additional court filings to the motion seeking to disqualify Willis. Everyone's contributing. See, sometimes it takes a village to overturn a tyrant like Fannie Willis. The new filing accuses Wade, a special prosecutor in the Georgia case, of having lied in his divorce proceedings. It presented the court with evidence that he had updated his answers to two questions, asking if he had sexual relations with, with anyone outside from his spouse during his marriage and when he may have entertained a member of the opposite sex, not including his wife, during that period. Now, I don't want to get into the soap opera of all that he said, she said, only that his answers uh, under oath, two of them were lies and he had to update them. Now we're going to go to David Schaefer's Twitter. This is Trump co-defendant David Schaefer said, 
We have supplemented our motion to disqualify Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis with exhibits showing sworn testimonies by Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade in the disqualification matter conflict with sworn statements he gave in his divorce. So what were his statements he has to change? There's the big bad document between the state of Georgia and David Schaefer. So this is what they filed and they gave this to the judge. So this goes into the legal record. Respectfully showing that upon information and belief, Special Assistant District Attorney Nathan Wade has made knowingly false and misleading statements concerning his relationship with Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Mr. Schaefer submits this the statements as additional evidence of misconduct by the prosecution in the action as additional grounds for disqualification of District Attorney Willis and her office. Good, we like that, but that did not give us enough information. We're going to go back to the Newsweek article again. The documents Schaefer provided, which Newsweek has seen, show that Wade responded, quote unquote, none to both questions on May 30th in 2023, but that he updated those answers last month after the allegations of an, quote, improper relationship. So first they asked him, did you cheat? And he said, none. He had none. That's a clear lie on both accounts. And then he goes in and he changed them to this. Uh, improper relations between himself and Willis were brought to light. He changed his response to the much simpler, quote, the plaintiff declines to respond to this inter interrogatory and asserts his privilege pursuant to OCGA section 245505, unquote, your honor. You know, that fails the Occam's razor test of the simplest answer, okay? Georgia law states that no party is required to testify on matters that, quote, incriminate or, quote, bring infamy, disgrace, or public contempt upon parties, witnesses, or their family. Now let's go to, let's see, here's Benny Johnson Twitter he has rep Corey Mills of Florida goes over his letter requesting the disbarment of Fannie Willis. Yet another prong of attack. We're going to get her disbarred. That was written by your office uh, asking for the disbarment. It's very thorough. The unethical and unprofessional behavior in which she conducted with her inappropriate relationship. And we essentially feel that the bar makes it very clear that even the perception of unethical and unprofessional behavior is reasoning for the uh, disbarment. And so I think that she has more than met that criteria and should be met uh, with, with the full renders of justice. Get her disbarred. It's all good news for Trump because if they can keep hammering her that we're getting enough delays, we're getting enough coverage, that this thing is getting counterattacked and it's falling apart before our very eyes. If you guys like this kind of coverage on Fannie Willis, make sure you subscribe and I'll get the message loud and clear to keep doing this stuff. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you guys as an audience. Thank you for joining us here on Doug in Exile. My friends laughed at me when I told them how inconsistently. Man, oh man. Damn. It's like I said, man, you can't throw dirt on people if you got dirt on you too. So let's be clear here. Fannie Willis is a district attorney for, I believe, Fulton County in Georgia. You know what I'm saying? The issue that she's running into is you're trying to prosecute a former sitting president. This is the mm. first time this ever happened. That's number one. Number two, everybody that you're trying to prosecute outside of him are all lawyers. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think that these lawyers are not going to find something on you? Lawyers are the ones who write the laws. They write the laws. They know what to do. They'll play, lawyers will play stupid 
until the end. Then they'll hit you with something. That's what they do. They sneaky. Lawyers are like doctors. They're very respected, even though they is a lot of slimy lawyers and there's a lot of slimy doctors, but they didn't go to school, all this schooling for nothing. They know how to get around stuff. You some of these, so Supreme court judges, right? There's one that sticks out to me. Two or three. I like, I like all of them. Actually, I would want to meet all the Supreme court justices from Ms. Jackson, all the way down to Amy Coney Barrett, to Terrence Clarence Thomas, to, to, uh, all Kavanaugh, all of them. I want to meet all of them. Those are brilliant minds. These people know everything about the constitution. Hmm. They're at the peak level of intelligence. I'm talking like the top level. Real quick, Amy Coney Barrett, she had a hearing on, they was trying to, you know, get her to be the Supreme Court, a, a, a Supreme Court justice. And she, you know how they, they have to write notes down and ask questions. She yeah. wrote nothing down. And everything they asked her, she knew it in her head. Wow. That's who I especially want to meet is her. And I want to meet Clarence Thomas, of course, but I want to meet her especially because I think she's phenomenal. Um, I like I I don't really agree with Takanji Brown Jackson on some things, but I want to meet her. You know what I mean? I re- definitely want to meet her too. But um, we're talking about brilliant minds, so these people know the law. They can recite stuff out of a book. You know what I'm saying? That we that that they you know what I'm saying? They know this. They know it back and front. So when you playing with fire as if uh, uh, Fannie Willis was doing with the former president, you think these people are not going to come after you? They're going to find something on you. You ain't perfect. But again, it's probably not her fault because she probably got somebody that got a battery in her back making her do this. But then when she go on and at her church, and she lies about it, they're going to use all that, everything. They got all the receipts of them. They, 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 they subpoenaed everybody. They subpoenaed her father. They subpoenaed everybody in her office. They got people in her office that flipped on her and told and said, look, they have been stealing money. They've been mishandling money. Hmm. So she is like, that's why you haven't heard nothing from her. She was doing a lot of talking before. Now she ain't saying nothing because this is a potential where a potential thing can happen to her is she can actually go to prison for all this. Her and him. So Mm. all I got to say is, man, good luck to her tomorrow. Good luck because 915 in the morning, she got a, she got a, a hearing. And if they kick her off the case, the case can still go on because they're gonna they're gonna put somebody they're gonna appoint somebody else. But it's not gonna not gonna matter no more because after that, it's over. Like nobody's gonna care. But it is what it is. Shout out to Doug and Exile too. Yeah, for this uh, particular video that we reacted to, I was like so so confused. Um. But what I got out of the video is that, you know, um, the girl, the uh, lady that we're talking about in the video, what I got out of it was, you know what I'm saying? She a con artist. She ain't no different. She ain't no different than uh, any other person trying to uh, get a leg up in the uh, political world. She's just the same. She's, she might be a lower tier. But from what I'm from what I'm hearing that's being stated, man, she just like she just like the rest of them. What's going to make her any different? You know, she just like the rest of them. She committed a crime and now she's trying to uh, plead the fifth. Mm -hmm. I mean, what I mean, what else? I mean, what else can be said? You know, she she's wrong. 
She's wrong. It don't it don't got nothing to do with no race, no nothing. She's wrong. Wrong is wrong, right is right. Yeah. And yeah, that's all I can say. But shout out to Doug and Exile, man. See y'all. Peace bye. Case catch bad. We out of here.